Today's Doodle celebrates Colombian architect Regulio Sulmana on his 92nd birthday, known for his visionary red brick constructions in the capital of Bogota. Sulmana is widely considered one of the most important figures in Latin American architecture. The Colombian modernist Rogelio Sulmana had an enriching and lasting influence on Bogota through his mastery of bricks. Bogota is a red brick city and no one has done more to enrich this material that Regalio Solmana, which is from 1929 to 2007, the greatest Colombian architect on the 20th century, inspired by the Islamic mansory of Spain and North Africa. It brought a new level of refinement to the bulk and detailing of product that had previously been used as a cheap substitute for stone. Perhaps he also remembered the man made to door house where he grew up. One of many such curiosities that still shape the fashionable neighborhoods of the capital. He used bricks with the assurance of German expressionist Fritz Hogger in a spectrum of public and academic buildings, private houses and affordable apartments and was the first Latin American architect to win the Avatar Avalor Altovo medal in 2004. Monumental, elementary and flawlessly processed its architecture belongs to the alternative tradition of modernity. Salmana was born in Paris to a Spanish father and a French mother. Both were Jews and in anticipation of the future move to Bogota in 1934, where their son established a permanent bond with the adopted home. He was studying architecture at the National University where a wave of right-wing violence persuaded his father to send him back to Paris in 1948. For a decade, he worked as a part-time with Le Corbusier on Chandi or Chandigarh and other projects, but was disappointed with the 1951 master plan for Bogota. Salmana did an internship with Jane Provo, studied art and Pierre Fresnestrel at the Sorbonne, traveled a lot and returned home in 1957 to teach architectural history at the University of Los Andes. As an educator, Salmana may have been too influential. Many younger architects believe it instilled a sense of orthodoxy that discouraged new thinking. In contrast to George Perez's bold reforms at the Bolivarian University in Middle, they urge that the respect shown to its buildings may have enhanced the capital conservative states. This seems unlikely. It was Colombia's political instability and constant outbreaks of violence that hampered constructive investment and creative activity. Salmana's office remained small and jobs were few until its final decade of practice brought a flurry of prestigious assignments, some of which are still under construction. Happy birthday to Regalo Salmana, a visionary architect who recognized the infinite potential of the humble red bricks. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.